same thing. It, it, it's money. So it comes down to choices, the council makes, and I will reiterate uh, what my colleague, Council Anderson, said. The council is making choices to spend on a monthly newspaper against the government's COVID confidence. The council is investing £850,000 in the holiday golf resort uh, because the, the, the leader of the council said he is uh, uh, he, he's risk aware but not risk averse. So he, he's happy to he's happy to risk eight hundred and fifty thousand pounds in council taxpayer money. Uh, he's happy to without any going through any process other than cabinet employ an inward investment officer without that being challenged to the question.
yes, you can come in on that. So. Yeah, it, uh, the Constitution requires that if, before we commence any procurement exercise, the cabinet members approve this sort. Thank, that's very clear now, Rob. So the, for clarification, Chris, the, count, the cabinet member has signed off to give the officers permission, which is, is due process, it's happened in every other council. He's given the, the, the officers permission to go out and find out the costs and if we place an, if we place an order after the consultation and everything else. And um, so that's all. Chair, the Chair's question, right? And it's been answered. Thank you. Jerry. Yeah, I mean, first of all, there are nine councillor Blakely. There are other councillors on this committee who would like to speak and, and say their points. No, but that's, that's, that's really no, 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 Jerry, please, please. please. That should be that should be addressed to me yeah. because I allow okay. Councillor Blake. Yeah. So if you've got any complaints about my chairmanship, please address them to me and not to Councillor Blake. Thank you for your objection, Chairman. You're very welcome. But for simplest comments were made by councillors of all parties at the work workshop in relation to the very contentious issues that were brought up uh, and understandable contentious. Uh, I'm trying to talk as loud. I'll talk. Okay, okay, I'll speak louder. That's no problem. Use the, the microphone, microphone please. Right, okay, that's fine. Uh, I really object to the party opposite pretending to be the champion of service users of the open spaces. As a person who runs 30 miles a week around the world for the last 40 years, I, I know our cherished areas better than most, as do uh, a, a number of councillors. And you know, we, we've got to, this, this is just this is a consultation at no. this stage. If this isn't an us and them situation, let's just move forward. But we fully take on board the serious issues that are that are that are, that are coming to us on this. It, 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 we know how serious it is, and we don't need you know reminding from the party uh, opposite. And plus the fact that we have a selective amnesia in relation to the to the millions and millions of cuts that are inflicting on Wirral Council, which uh, is causing part of these problems. Thank you. Thank you, Jerry. Um, right, now we've got, we've got, I think, we've got a couple of proposals, one from Warren, and I think, Chris, you indicated that you've got a proposal. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to put, Warren, if you would now like to make your recommendation, please. And I think this, this recommendation, I think, will satisfy some of this dissatisfaction that came from around the table tonight. So I'd, I'd ask all members to listen carefully, please. Warren. Um, thank you, Chair. My recommendation is that, is that this committee request officers to develop a full report which considers the impact on small businesses, traffic, and the wider community to enable councillors to fully scrutinise all aspects of the effect which may occur an increase or implementation of parking charges. No, Jeff Ron, I'm not in Ron. I'm sorry, you have to have a second to be there. You do, yes, you do. To be yes, you do. I am formally seconded in the motion. Thank you, Ron. Thank you, Ron. A recommendation. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Committee notes numerous petitions of rejection, totaling over 15,000 signatures to date. Committee also notes a level of public anger and opposition to these proposals. Committee recognises the potential damage the introduction of parking charges will do to our already struggling town centres. Committee also recognises that charging for parking in country parks will have a detrimental effect on public health. And therefore, the committee asks the cabinet withdraw these proposals in their entirety and instead work with our local businesses to help regenerate our town centres.
just like it, so it keeps on aligning to just happen to sit with this end. <coughs> I know I won't, well, I'm hoping I'll like it a second, but I'm going to move something anyway. But I would recommend, recommend to Cabinet that this option should not be taken.